In March of 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. traveled to Memphis, Tennessee to lead a march supporting the striking sanitation workers in the area. The march quickly ended after violence and riots broke out. On April 3, 1968, King returned to Memphis. He wanted to demonstrate that a peaceful march could be successful in achieving the social and economical goals of the people. King stayed at room 306 in the Lorraine Motel with his business associate, Dr. Ralph Abernathy. He was shot and killed on his balcony at 6.01 p.m. on April 4, 1968. The bullet was shot from near a rooming house across the street. It entered the right side of his face, fracturing his jaw, severing many vital arteries, and fracturing his spine in several places. The man who shot him was James Earl Ray. James was a convicted armed robber who escaped from the Missouri State Penitentiary on April 23, 1967. He traveled all throughout North America, evading police for over a year. On May 7, 1968, the Shelby County Criminal Court named James the killer of Martin Luther King Jr. An international manhunt begun. James Earl Ray was captured at Heathrow Airport in London, England on June 8, 1968. He was returned to the U.S. the following month and sentenced to 99 years in the penitentiary. Martin Luther King Jr.'s death, along with Malcolm X's in 1965, fueled the growth of the Black Power Movement and the Black Panther Party in the late 1960s to early 1970s. King remains a widely known African-American leader of his era. He was the most popular face of the Civil Rights Movement. To honor him, Martin Luther King Jr. Day was made in 1983 and is celebrated every January since.